being able to connect with the guests on a cooking level was really important. And so we decided that open hearth cooking was, was a tradition in this area, but having an open flame in, inside the city is, is kind of a no-no. So we really wanted to have a chimney and the fire department wouldn't allow that. We really kind of pushed for that. Um, we felt like that was really the answer for us especially to try to stick with the traditions of hearth cooking. So the answer to not having a chimney was basically captive air. So they came in, uh, they had a system basically engineered and designed just for the purpose that we needed it for. Uh, and you know, we've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it seems to be doing exactly what they said it was going to do. We did a lot of tests kind of before we started cooking on it just to see how hot we could get it, how fast we could get it hot without setting off the fire suppression system. But we haven't set it off yet, and from monitoring the, the temperatures in the back, which we have this crazy you know, touch screen that we use, which I've never seen on a, on a uh, hood system before, and it tells us all the information we need to know about the temperature, how fast we're getting hot, how hot we're getting. So it's pretty easy to control. The guys that came in and, and put our whole system in uh, really seemed to understand what it is we needed, really seemed to understand the airflow and just all of the aspects that were going to be really important in getting this right um, without using a chimney. So I was really impressed by the, by the guys that came in and, and put everything together and so far the equipment's been functioning really well. So. Having the open hearth is definitely one of the things that, that separates us from everyone else and the hearth has been really fun to use and hopefully it, it works out for us for years to come.